just calm down. Oh, you think you're a good person. You think you're a good person. Well, you aren't the one who gets to decide that, do you? They decide that up there. It doesn't matter what you think. Now I am here to help you. Okay? I am here to help you. Okay? So if we can calm down for one second, then I can help explain things to you. Does this sound good? Excellent. Okay. Always. discussion about your stay in hell. Okay, does that sound good? Fantastic. Well, I would first like to congratulate you. You have already managed to make it through your first hurdle. Your first hurdle. Going down. So, the hard part is done. The hard part is done already. It's all smooth sailing. size. I, trust me, these are incredibly necessary questions. Shoe size. Okay. What's your clothing size? Generally, what do you most have? Okay. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Now we're going to get into some demographic questions. Some demographic questions. What's your gender? Okay. 
sexuality. Okay. What is your race? We already have this information. We know everything about you. But this is sort of a standard procedure. Standard procedure. So we already know all of this. We just want to hear it come from you directly. Okay. We are getting close to finishing, I promise. The questions, yeah. Okay. Let's start getting into some of the more heavy questions, okay? Have you ever killed anyone before? No. Okay. Have you ever committed a act of severe violence to anyone? And when I mean severe, I mean beating someone up, doing things against someone's will, you know, kidnapping people, those sort of things. No. Okay. stolen something before? Are you sure about that? Maybe I should ask you the question again. Have you ever stolen something? stolen something. That's much better. Good. Yes, you have. Very good. Have you ever done something knowingly that is, let's say, mentally taxing on the victim? Let's say, for example, you're in a relationship and you cheat. You did not hurt your significant other physically, but you did mentally. As a, have you done anything like that? Okay. Okay, okay. Have you ever lied before? You know what, no need to answer that, seeing how you've already lied to me, yeah, about the stealing, so we'll just say yes to that one. ever wished for someone else besides yourself to go to hell? Okay. Do you think you are a good person overall? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Can you perhaps recount a short list of your most good deeds for me? Just a short list. Okay. Hold on. Slow down. I can't write that fast. Okay. Donate to the charity. Volunteer work. Okay.
myself. Yeah, I've guided thousands, thousands of souls. Yeah, like yourself. So there's no need to feel any sort of embarrassment. Yeah, in fact, around 90% of people go to hell. So you are in the large majority. Yeah, only 10% go straight to heaven. Aren't that in a tough spot, if that makes any sense. Now, obviously, since you're here, the big man upstairs, God, or whatever you want to call him, decided to send you here so that you could perhaps learn a lesson. It's a system. It's a system. And it's important to follow the system. Okay? If you don't follow the system, then it'll only make things worse for you. Okay? Fantastic. You seem like a relatively nice person. Perhaps got involved with some bad things. Okay? Maybe you made some belief lapses of judgment throughout your life. Most humans do that. It's really no big of a deal. Okay, I'll explain to you now what we are going to do. Let me explain this to you. Hell works on three levels. Three levels, okay? Three levels. We, you, are going to the first level. The first level, lucky for you, is the easiest level, okay? It's, let's say, people who are, have minor offenses, people who can make up for it. We have the second level, these are people who made more major offenses, but given enough time, maybe they can walk their way up, and then finally, the third level, this is where you do not want to be, you will be stuck there forever, this is probably the level of how you've heard most about, the worst of the worst people go there, okay, and these levels are based on the crime or the offense committed, and the it takes to get out. That's right. You can get out of hell. This system isn't to punish you. It's to teach you a lesson about your mistake about life. That is what hell is used for. Sort of like a human prison, but much larger. The first level is categorized of one human lifetime. So usually people on this level can get to heaven in one human lifetime, so about 80 years. The second level is categorized by multiple human lifetimes. Means you're gonna have to be spending a lot more time on that second level to sort of prove that you've learned. And the third level, you have no hope. Those are where the worst of the worst. Murderers, conquerors, uh, dictators, those people they can never be forgiven, and they have no chance of getting out, okay? And how this works is many things. It's your behavior first. If you are good, you'll go up. If you're bad, you'll go down, okay? And it's also, you know, learning, seeing what you did wrong, and acknowledging it, acknowledging that it was your fault that it was your mistake, sort of owning up to it. And then thirdly, it is about being a better person. These are the three core tenets of how to move up as fast as possible, okay? So, let's see here. We are on the first level, the first level, which means you have it lucky, okay? Now, you are primarily here because
because of a buildup. A buildup of multiple offenses, smaller offenses. And so, I would say that your stay here might be relatively short. Relatively short. I would say maybe a couple years. A couple years on good behavior. You should be able to make your way up there. Yes. 
so. Most of